Sheikh Mohammed's warning to social media users in UAE. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, has written an open letter to residents and citizens. He took to social media to release the letter that has been titled New Season of Achievements. Here is a translation of the letter in full. Brothers and sisters, our citizens, with the start of a new season of achievements in our country, I would like to take this opportunity to address several issues. Officials should be on field, not at conferences. The right place for officials, ministers and leaders is on field. We want them to be among students and teachers and traders and investors in the market. We want to hear of them among farmers and fishermen, among widows, mothers and senior citizens, and among patients, doctors and health professionals in hospitals. We want to see them among people and hear their observation on the ground, not in conference halls and the corners of the forums. We are an achievement-based government that does not rely on lectures and speeches. We are a team of achievers and not a team of theorists. Number two, don't tarnish UAE's image on social media. Neglect and chaos of a social media platform is impacting the achievements that thousands of work teams have dedicated the greatest effort to build. The reputation of the UAE is not for public use by those who seek more followers. Our Ministry of Foreign Affairs is the official entity that manages our foreign issues, speaks on our behalf and represents our political standpoints. One of its main mandates also comprises maintaining 48 years of long-standing credibility and good reputation that the UAE has established with countries and peoples across the world. We shall not accept that a number of online users taint the legacy of the late Sheikh Said bin Sultan al Nayan, that he established on the values of credibility, love, and respect. The image of our country and citizens should remain as intact and bright as Sheikh Zed had aspired to be. Emeritization is the UAE's top priority. We have heard numerous complaints about emeritization and the public has grown less satisfied about the way authorities have been managing this issue. We are monitoring the process, providing job opportunities for citizens was and will remain a top priority as the case in the countries of the East and the West. This season we shall take serious actions in regard to amortization and ensure regular follow-up and accountability. We shall issue new directives in the coming months. We need more projects to drive our economy to the top. Thankfully, our economic performance is in continued progress and our competitiveness and foreign trade are on the rise. However, we are not a country that develops with average indicators. We are a nation that thrives to make economic leaps to save time. In the coming phase, we need fundamental projects and exceptional ideas that will drive our economy to the top. Real estate projects need to adjust their place to provide an added value to our national economy and avoid becoming a source of burden and imbalance to our economic journey. Government departments must not ignore complaints from the public. We have reiterated and strongly emphasize that the ultimate goal of the governments is to provide and serve people. Yet, unfortunately, we still hear complaints from the public on live programs and social media platforms. Some officials do not find the courage to address public needs or even respond to the concerns. I'm aware that challenges exist, but avoiding them solves nothing. Fearing to face the public is a sign of a weak and unconfident entity. I request everyone to respect any callers, respond their inquiries and dedicate efforts to solve their problems. Expanding our resources is never as important as expanding our hearts. Number six, the future is bright. Lastly, I tell everyone to be optimistic because the future is bright, greater and more beautiful. We are the best prepared nation for the future, the most competitive in the region, the fastest growing in number of projects and the most advanced in public administration. We are the best nation in adoption of future technology and most importantly, we are a nation that holds courage to face the facts, revise decisions and modify strategies on a regular basis to march towards the future at full speed.